channel is Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I am um, a little under the weather, <clears throat> so I am um, oh, I'm a little nasally, a little cough. Um, I don't know what's going on exactly. I don't know if it's sinus. Um, I did, um, I started having like itchy ears. Um, my nose is real sore, like especially at my throat, and it's causing my throat to be sore. So I don't know what's going on or what I what I've caught. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah, I don't. I'm just kind of drained, really drained. So um, I know there's lots and lots and lots of things going around. Um, Michael had told me that they they're saying in Florida, if you're not really sick, don't come to the ER because like they're getting overwhelmed with stuff. Um, I went out to the store even and tried to get um, some sore throat lozenges and stuff and because uh, me and my husband both have it and um, they're sold out. Like a lot of the cold stuff is gone, gone, gone. So <clears throat> yeah, it's like, well, great. <laughs> so I don't know. I guess there's lots of stuff going around. So anyways, speaking of going around, uh, spider mites is going around again. Spider mites, spider mites. Ugh. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened that, um, the, the prior treatments didn't, didn't do away with the spider mites. Um, like I said, I did, I actually killed a few of my fowls because the oil was just too much for them. Um, and some of your fowls can be, like some of your plants, period. Can, that's why they tell you, um, you know, just try it on a couple. But the thing of it is, is that you have to do something for the plant because it's got the spider mites. So you have to do something, you know. So if what you choose to do is wrong... I mean, that's kind of where you're at. You just, you know, there's, you've got to do something because the bugs themselves will kill the plant. So it's a 50-50 shot, honestly. Um, so I did the, the, the oil and the alcohol and the um, Dawn dish soap, um, my usual standby. And I did, I wound up losing a lot of orchids, a lot of uh, fowls. Um, so I figured this time I would try something a little different. Michael said that he uses the insecticidal soap. That's why he does that, so that he doesn't lose his fowls. It's because, like, like, the oil is. The oil's hard on them. It winds up laying in the axes on the um, stem and causes stem rot and, um, and crown rot. I mean, it just, it's, it's a snowball effect sometimes on some plants. Some plants just can't handle the oil, so it does take them down. So, um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to try, you know, sometimes, I mean, I've been using that oil, soap, and water for quite some time now. And, you know, sometimes bugs build immunity to things. So, I'm wondering if that's not where I'm at with this situation, because, like I said, I went through that whole thing, and I really, I busted butt, um, took on these spider mites, cleared them out, and then just like, it wasn't even a month later, I don't think, maybe two months, if that, um, you know, bam, here they are, they're back. So, yeah, either I didn't get them all the first time, or something. So, somehow, I wound up with three different spots in three different sections of the room of the gray space as to where they are now. So, I'm like, eh, yeah. I'm like, frezza, 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 frezza. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't want to keep going through this. So, I got to thinking, I'm like, maybe I'll try a different insecticidal soap because maybe, you know, maybe they're used to what I have been using. So, um, I remember um, Roxy from Orchids 365. She used this insecticidal soap, and I think she used it on, uh, I can't remember if it was mealybugs or thrips. I can't really remember, but it, of course, tells you on it what, it's, what it fights. Um, and right there is the main one that I'm looking for, the red spider mite. Um, but, yes, it does work on thrips. So, maybe she did, um, did use this one for thrips. Um, the active ingredients is potassium salts of fatty acids and spinos, 
Spinoza, Spinoza, oh, you can read it. <laughs> no sense in me butchering the name of it. Right there. Spinoza, yeah, it's a mixture of those two, yeah, and D. So that's what makes up this one. I asked Michael by chance if he had ever used it. Um, he said no. And unfortunately, I did. I ordered my bottle from Amazon and it came beat up. It's still working. It's still usable. But my, my bottle came broken. My, my sprayer part came broken, which that's no real big deal. Like I could just put it in another sprayer, but it's working. It's working just fine. It's, there's no, you know. So, um, yeah, I want to go back here. You know, what, the one thing you always want to do is read your directions. So let's see, let's zoom in just a hair, turn the light on. It says, let's see, I'm a little too close, but then when I zoom out, it, um, nope, out. I can only go so far before the light wants to kick off. So, of course, peel here. Whew, here we go, it gets so hot without them fans on. Actually, I think I always always want to peel the the whole thing, and I mess myself up because it's got like a little film over that section. I always want to try to peel the whole sticker off, and I mess myself up when I do that. All right, so we got it open now. Now, real quick, I'm gonna look. Um. It gives you a list of what you can use it on, um, artichokes, asparagus, beans, beets, broccoli, yeah, corn, cauliflower, I mean cucumbers, potatoes, down the line, berries, herbs, um, gives you quite the list of what all you can use it on. Okay, yeah, just, just a long, long list. Um, it gives you use restrictions. Um, goes through fruits, vegetables, all that. Tree, nuts, pistachios, commercial, non-commercial. First aid. Okay. So, did I, yeah, I was going to say, did I miss a page? Sure enough. So, right here, um, this product will control pests such as adelogids, I have no idea, woolly aphids, um, ants, excluding fire ants, harvester ants, pharaoh ants, and carpenter ants, aphids, army worms, beetles, including Colorado potato beetles, borers, caterpillars, cinch bugs, codling moths, earwigs, fruit flies, gypsy moth, lace bugs, leaf hoppers, leaf miners, leaf rollers, loopers, mealy bugs, mites, mites, so I got you, got, I got you, probably got you, yeah, too far, <laughs> um, mites, uh, mole cricket, plant bugs, psyllid, saw fly larva, scale insects, spider mites, tent caterpillars, thrips, web worms, weevils, including black and vine weevils, and white flies. So, <clears throat> says over here, shake container before use, apply when listed pests are present. Thoroughly spray all the plant parts to wetting, including undersides of leaves. Repeat application may be as indicated in the use restrictions section. Apply when the first signs of powdery mildew appear. Okay, that's not what we're treating for. We're just treating for mites, 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 mites. Now, I want to check and see real quick if there's any present on this one because I already treated it with another... Uh, another the same method um, last time um, so I do want to kind of see so I'm going to take cotton rounds and I'm going to wipe a little bit in a few places just to see if anything is still active 
because that's the important part. That's what we kind of want to see. Wrong way. That's kind of what we want to see if there's any active spots. The, they actually killed that spike. So, yeah. And it looks like something or the fact that they did kill that spike um, is what is starting to happen to the other one because the other spike's starting to go away. But just out of curiosity, I'm going to rub that spike and I don't see anything. But I am going to take that spike off the rest of the way. It's dead completely, so we're just going to go ahead and remove it. So I am going to, I'm going to check out the other spike. I'm going to rub up it all the way. And I don't see anything but I do see like I said you can see kind of um, the progression on the spike as it goes up that it gets yellower so eventually that spike will probably go so all right let's spin it around here see if we can see if they're still active on here check the undersides Nope, nothing on that one. It might have killed what was on it. So far I'm not coming back with anything so it might have it might have did what I needed it to do so I don't see anything on the new parts dang that in my face here no nope, I'm still coming back with nothing but that's good. I mean, I want to make sure that this plant is covered. Um, you know, nothing, nothing happening before I set it back up there. And it really appears clean. So that's good. That, that, what I did prior before I was waiting on this soap to come. Must have went ahead and took care of them on that one for right now. So hang tight and we'll check another one. Okay, we are back now. I'm checking this um, Fred Clark after dark because of course, with it being um, thin leafed, um, everybody knows that um, these guys are spider mite magnets. So of course they had made it over here to this one. Um, it is time basically for these leaves to go on this plant so they should be they should be dropping off soon but I'm gonna go ahead and treat now I did not find any um, when I wiped it down with the um, and it's too big to kind of keep in frame for the you know for the size of the plant but I did not come up with any um, redness on my um, on my cotton swab so I think the treatment that I treated it with as well worked last time so oops sorry I mean the bump the whoops <clears throat> so yeah I think it might have cleared those off for there but I might go ahead and before I hang it back, might go ahead and spray it with the, with the insecticidal soap just to make sure that it's done. Um, it's too big for me to show you on camera, but it basically, you know, I'm just going to spray the whole thing down. That's the best way to do it and um, then get it dried off and set it back up. So hang tight and I will get that done and we'll look for another one. This channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. 
Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out, y'all. All right. Well, the uh, so far the two that had them uh, didn't have them this time. I mean, like I said, I, I was waiting on this insecticidal soap to come. It's Captain Jack's. It's actually by Bonide, which is, you know, I'm, I'm loving the Bonide stuff. Um, so I thought I would give this one a try. But this little guy here was another one that was hit. And um, I actually lost a couple of leaves off of it because of it um, being hit so hard. This is a uh, Luteola rhodosticta orangus. So far, I'm not seeing. So maybe I really got it good. Nope, no, no red indications this time around. So, I mean, and that's the thing, you know, when I found these little plants, these little pockets that had these guys on it I immediately jumped and treated it and that is the best way to do it I mean you know I understand we all got you know um, situations that we can't uh, you know I'm one that usually I don't feel good and like today I sure didn't feel like getting them down and looking at them but it was time and see I'm glad I did because now I know that those little pockets has been eradicated so this week when I'm watering and I got each individual plant in hand I can use this soap and see, go from there and see how it works and see if it, if it eradicates you know the places that I find this time coming so you know if I, if I got them then I shouldn't run into any little pockets which is nice so I really haven't um, you know like I said this is my first time trying this soap if there's anybody out there that has used this on spider mites, please, please leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section and let me know how it went with for you. Let me know if it worked for you. And uh, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And Happy New Year, y'all. It is. We are in the new year. This one will actually be my first uh, video of the new year, um, I think. Was it or was Monday? Mondays, I think my African Violet was technically the first one, yeah, I think, but I don't care, happy new year anyways, y'all, love each and every one of you, and with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me, and bye for now, y'all, till we meet again.